It's parade season in the New Hampshire primary, perhaps the only time when a state that <laughs> prides itself on the small, personal scale of its politics readily encourages presidential campaigns to go big. The 4th of July is, um, is a moment of reflection to realize the precious, the precious value of freedom. The Independence Day parades in Amherst and Merrimack have been a first in the nation's staple for decades. A chance to shake hands, kiss babies, and try to make the kind of instant connection that can pay off in February. The fact that he's here and, uh, you know, a lot of the other candidates aren't here, they sent supporters, but he's here and that means a lot to me. Before social media, parades provided candidates a built-in crowd and a target-rich opportunity to show off their retail campaigning skills. I love July 4th because you can shake a lot of hands. I'm a grassroots candidate. You meet a lot of people. In 2015, Senator Lindsey Graham shared his simple strategy, don't waste time on non-voters. Are you from New Hampshire? Because <laughs> if, if you're not, not, take a hike. <laughs> don't let the door itch in the butt. Uh, <laughs> No, just thanks for coming out. Thanks for caring about your country. New Hampshire's primary will always be about the people and giving everyone in the race a fair shot. While Independence Day parades aren't town halls, they do allow candidates and voters to celebrate together the ideals of that more perfect union we seek every four years. I think this is America as we would like it to be in every part of the country. I think this is people out celebrating their freedom, celebrating their communities, their city, their country. And obviously, there's no place in America better to be on the 219th birthday of America than in New Hampshire, where the slogan of your state is live free or die. Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.